Hey everybody, welcome back to another reaction video. This one is Fitz and Simmons being a comedic duo for however long this clip goes. <laughs> uh, this is from the show Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and it was requested by a Patreon subscriber. If you two would like to join the Patreon, go ahead and hit the link down below in the description. It'll take you there. Very affordable. Leave a like in the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I post daily. So come on back. Hit the subscription bell or notification bell if you want. Not pushing it. That's up to you. But uh, I've seen one other clip from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And it led a lot of questions to be had. So maybe this one will answer some more. I've probably already read your comments by now. So I'm probably already caught up to that. But uh, yeah, I'm just watching this one after another. And it probably won't post one after another. So bear with me. Anyway, let's go. Well, I should think not. Yeah, we could have done that, could we? Pretty old. It would be a shame, especially yeah. when you're so well formed and symmetrical. What? When did you stop talking? About three embarrassing sentences. Formed ago. and symmetrical. Right. <laughs> but there aren't any flower dresses where she's going. Amen to that, sister. Yes. Brilliant deduction, Dr. Watson. I've always pictured you as Watson. What? Oh! Thank God, where have you been? Everybody yeah, wants to be Sherlock, right? Freaking out, thanks to you two geniuses. Yeah, between Garrett and May and seeing Audrey and pancakes. Coulson's upset about pancakes now. When Sally Weber made the books fall off the table in neurobiology. Ah, uh, well, that was a particularly cruel prank. <laughs> you screamed like a girl. I am a girl. Yeah. We'll deploy the golden retrievers. They're in here. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Pranking was your idea. <sighs> but enough mission talk already. Um, anything exciting happen at the hub? I shot a superior officer in the chest. Dang. Do you remember the last time you brought a dead thing into the lab? Oh, not this stupid cat it's again. And it's cat. our lab, bitch. It's not your lab. You left his liver next to my lunch. Now, I think, well, I'm most likely dead on, but the tesseratic end. Of course, Dr. Fitz. We are colleagues, after all. That we are Dr. Simmons and um, that we are. So that's why as 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 things progress with our, um, we should <laughs> consider all variables as we move forward because things are bound to get complicated. Awkward? You mean once we have sex? Simmons. Garcia and the Quinjet. Do you think I'm not romantic? I'm going to do something with you on that island that will take your breath away. What is... Hey, I, I, what? Snorkeling! Did you know there are over a thousand species of fish in the Seychelles? <laughs> I cannot wait. Oh, please tell me you still believe time can't be changed! You want to debate that now? Is it... Isn't that why we're here? No, Fitz, just tell me it's against the law of physics. I need that right now. The perception of time is an illusion. Last man. According to Herman Minkowski, space time. No, you know what? I was wrong. It's not helping. GMR. No. Yes, Fitz. Gemma, did you lock the door? No. I'm never leaving your side again. Yeah, I feel the same way. That's why I asked you to marry me. I, uh, mm. doesn't matter. No, why? You won't just tell me. I don't want to. Oh God! Your... So time travel is not only true. It oh, works. I'm sorry. He I was just, didn't see I was that coming. Out that you put us in a mind prison and you lied to us about it. I don't like it here. There's people on your way out. She's seven. And a half. She's probably not you dropped the me, apple pencil much. Without that a much. doubt, the supreme, absolute worst. You are a butt face. Oh, that's charming. How are you with spectral theory or eigenvalues? I'm still learning integrals. Oh, are you? Well, it looks like someone's only gonna have two PhDs by the time they're 17, doesn't it? Time travel is science fiction, stupid! Oh, grow up! You're the one that said it was possible, you little... <laughs> Point of yeah. tension? Well, 
Good to see you too. This place is a bit of a mess. Is it? You should see my room. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah, whenever. If that happens, I don't care. Just in lab, you seem like a good sounding board. <laughs> sounding board? Yeah. It just means to bounce ideas off. So I'm good at reflecting your ideas back at you. Like a wall. Like a thick wall. Oh, no. No, what I mean is you're good at clarifying which ideas are uh, heading in the right direction and mapping consequential results. Oh, what the bloody hell is that thing? Listen, I would remind you that we came in here because you had your special shadow was trying to kill us. Oh, so you unleashed the bloody ranger monster. Sometimes it's better to just stop talking. You keeping a bar. <laughs> I don't hold the candle to you, psycho. Daddy told me to put my troubles away in the little box so they wouldn't keep me up at night. Bad feelings, anger, fear, pain. I would just put them inside the little box and they would stay in there nice and neat and crushed. You need therapy. You have some deep, deep pent up issues. It's been a rough year. Of course, sir. <laughs> I am Agent Gemma Simmons, and this, this is... This is, I am Leopold Fitz. You recently mounted an unauthorized biofuel demonstration. I recognize that guy. Which was her fault. I her recognize fault. that yep. guy. That was, her. that was her. It was. No. It was you. It was you. You underestimated the propellant's burn rate. You're the one who increased the concentration, and at that level Shut of compression, up. it was bound to... To explode? It exploded, right? I told you you were getting transferred to Shut one of the poles. I've also recommended you for my team. The field team. This is an honor. <laughs> Thank you for this opportunity. Yeah, we would love the chance to discuss it and think about it more, I think, probably alone. You are I a should strangle you twisted right now. piece of work. The true you just cut my heart out with her bone knife! Well, now you know how it feels! Well, okay, right, well, that, that is terrible. Yes. But you did shoot his father, that's called revenge. Uh, I don't know what I did to deserve that horror movie! Are you kidding? That box worked, okay? It was nice! Uh, A nice way to contain little suppress fears and keep things deep nice resentment. and neat. And yeah. tiny oh, you're and so endless. That is not fair. And then you get taken away by some rock, only to fall in love with some bloody astronaut. I was alone on a desert planet. Who turned out to be high, by the way. Oh, and also, are we sure that that happened after you slept oh with him? Oh my it? god. If it was you in the framework, Dang. the place would look like Night of the Living Dead. What? All the teas coming the out. Hell. Okay. Uh, okay. That is at uh, whoa. Oh, oh wow. Didn't know you liked that. Didn't know you do that. Come on, take the prize. Yes. Woo! -hoo. Cool. Really convincing, Gemma. This place is just not as much fun without the vapor trailers. The what? No. Stingier than I remember. Though I don't remember much. In my experience, this establishment is good for one thing. Trouble. Ways of euphoria. Wait, what? I think he's a company of a pretty lady. Hey, hey, hey! Knock it off! Fitz, don't! Fitz, do. Well. I'd be happy with you anywhere. But I am sick of space. Have fun on your wedding night. Oh, it was wonderful. <laughs> All that research that went into the framework. I have to admit, it's kind of sad to see it go. Is that so? No, that was a joke, because actually the framework's, the framework's just silly. And Radcliffe definitely, definitely had a drinking problem. <laughs> so one thing is really true with that cut, edit, whatever you want to call it, montage, clip. Um, there's a lot of context needed for a lot of those. So some of it was funny and I could just tell that it was funny. Maybe it's a situation, maybe it's a language they use. Maybe it just happens to be f what I'm seeing on the screen, but there's a lot of context that needs to go into some of those, especially towards the end that I just had no idea of. Um, it's interesting, it's good that they added some humor to it, because, uh, you know, the 
Marvel movies, the Avengers, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, all had a through line of some comedic relief. There is at least some lightheartedness to each character, and they displayed it really well. It wasn't over the top, you know, ha ha, hilarious, but it was situational based. Maybe it was, you know, Tony Sm- Tony S- well Tony Snark is more like it. <laughs> Tony Snark. Um, and just little tidbits of humor every once in a while, just to keep it light and not so dark. Um, and it's good to see that this show kind of has that too. This was requested by a Patreon subscriber. Link down below. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel. Notification bell if you feel like it. And uh, I shall see you on the next one. Mm-hmm.